Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum student. This is Umaira Saeed, lecturer at Time Institute. And today we are going to deliver the lecture number 3, which is the continuity of lecture number 2 of English Composition and Comprehension. And topic for today is Reading Techniques. So the agenda for the today session is that today we will discuss again that what is reading, what are the purposes of reading, what are the types of reading and then we will discuss the advantages, disadvantages and the methodologies associated with these types of reading. As in the lecture number 2, we discuss the reading. So, any one of you tell me that what is reading? Just recall what is reading? Reading is a decoding process as we discussed that it is a psycholinguistic activity that reading is a process in which you understand to the stimulus under the printed pages. Why do we study? We study for the sake of information, we study for the sake of knowledge. There are basically four purposes of reading. As we discussed that we study and we read for the sake of pleasure, for the sake of information, for the sake of practical applicability and the, for the sake of uh, critical evaluation. The 22 percent of our regular life and the 24 hours of a day we dedicate it to the reading. What do we read? We read newspaper, books, sometimes recipes, cooking, sometimes uh, reading the WhatsApp messages, sometimes reading the files, sometimes for the research purposes, books, pamphlets, wording, boards, everything we dedicated the 22 percent of the daily a day a for reading. So, this is the reading. Now, comes to the types of reading. So, there are multiple types of the reading. The few are we discussed today. The number one is skimming, scanning, intensive, extensive and S P R E. So, now we move to the detailed discussion of skimming. I hope that every one of you would have the pen and the paper in your hand to write down the important points. The skimming. The skimming is to run your eyes quickly over the text to get the main idea. It means that skimming is just like a skimmed milk. Like when you take the cream out of the milk, so that is skimming. The purpose of skimming is just to save your time. So skimming is the fast reading. Why do we skim? Why do we go for the skim reading? For official purposes, for making the assignments, for making the official presentations, for making your reading more quick and more fast, we go for the skimming. Suppose, let me give you an example that if I give you the task to read these two pages and give me the detailed points in after uh, three minutes, so what would you do? Would you read the whole two pages? No. You will find it so difficult to read the whole two pages in three to five minutes and then give me the two minutes presentation. You would go with the skimming. So the method of skimming is very simple. While skimming, you just note down the important headings, subheadings, any sporting pictures, any graphs uh, which will support your thoughts and then, and then give the presentation to your teacher. So this is skimming. Like the official presentations are, offic are generally based on the skimming, the scanning. The scanning is just to get the main idea. It is equal to the scanning we did on the computer. Suppose if I give you the word to find out from the dictionary. The word is clamorous. How would you scan this word in the dictionary? Would you read from the page number 1 to page number 350 till the last word to find out the meanings? No, you will just scan the words by finding out the meaning. Just write down C L A and the meaning of the clamorous will be in your hand. It means that scanning is just to get the particular idea. We scan so many things like finding the particular number from the directory, from your call log or the, from the chat box. You just if you need to have some chatting of your friend, you just go and click that. If you want to find out the important number, you just go to the call log and pick out the important number. If you go to the restaurant, you do not uh, read whole menu book, you just go to the important or your favorite food and just, just pick out and that is the scanning. So this is how we scan in our daily life and this is important for the uh, reading purposes as well. 
The third most important which we are discussing are intensive reading. As the word shows, intensive means when you study so deep. So, intensive reading is generally done in the class under the supervision of the teacher and while the intensive reading, you have to be very much careful about the vocabulary, grammar, grammatical structure, sentence structure, you have to be focused on either it is a simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, if you are having the intensive study regarding your English language. But if you are the students of DPT, HND, psychology, some chemistry, then your intensive reading will be particular to your subject. The psychology student will read more deeply about their psychology than the DPT students or the physiotherapist will focus more on their bones and their structures. But this reading will be done under the supervision of teacher. You cannot go alone with the intensive reading. Extensive reading. The extensive reading means the reading which is done outside the classroom. There is no guidance or the supervision regarded. Suppose if you are moving from one place to another place in your car, in your in aeroplane or by train, so you just reading the novel by putting earplug in your ears, so this is extensive reading. And I find that most of the students while attempting the uh, practicals or theorems or just reading the book, they just put on their earplugs and then start reading the books or attempting the theorem, it is a kind of extensive reading. The most important type of the uh, reading is SPRE. S, -E. S stands for situation, P for problem, R for response and E for evaluation. It is usually done for the research purposes for the creative writing at the secondary level or the higher secondary level. Suppose an assignment if I give you that how to overcome your anxiety during these pandemic days. So what you would do? There is a solution, there is a situation which I have given to you that you have to find out that how you have to overcome your anxiety in this situation. The problem is that you are, uh, you are under the anxiety because everywhere you are having lockdown, you are locked down at your home and you are feeling so depressed, there is no schools and there are no colleges open, you cannot even interact with your friends and the teachers. So this is the problem. So now you will record your responses. You may record your responses at an individual level, at a group level. You can take that uh, responses by uh, making the questionnaire, an open-ended questionnaire, like you can record the, uh, eval you can evaluate the people at the different level. And after the evaluation, you may find that yes, the people are anxiety, anxiety and people are feeling so bored at home, now they want to get back to their routine. So SPR is very common in the educational, not in the offices, not some official purposes, not for some, uh, not some at the government level. It has been done for the, at the college and the institute level to record the responses of a student in some kind of a situation. And then the teacher evaluate their problem and then their responses are recorded and then they make the conclusion and that's how they uh, arrange an other structure and an, uh, another arrangement for the student. So dear student, this was the lecture for today in which we discussed the reading and their techniques. We will come up with lecture number 4 next time. I hope that you will be safe and sound at your home. Thank you so much.